It has been a while since I came back home to the Philippines for Christmas. Christmas in Australia is celebrated differently than in the Philippines. The cold winter gives it a more different feeling. Living here for some time now has made me get accustomed to it. There are Christmas markets in the village where you can buy Christmas ornaments and a fresh cut Christmas tree. I remember a Christmas tree in the Philippines where it has no leaves and just branches painted with white. My aunt would decorate it in silky cotton that looks like snow. I didn't understand it because normally a Christmas tree has green leaves. But now, whenever I walk around the village or in the forest, I see bare trees without any leaves, but covered with snow. Then this nostalgic feeling subsides remembering our Christmas tree in the Philippines, and most especially, my aunt. I still remember that feeling for the first time I saw and touched a real Christmas tree. The wood smelled like incense. I smelled it with my eyes closed and feeling the leaves that used to be made out of plastic. It would have been more special if my aunt could also see it. In Austria, the Christmas tree is actually prepared before the dawn of Christmas. Families gather together to prepare gifts and decorate the Christmas tree. It is likely the opposite in the Philippines, as the Christmas tree will stand already at the beginning of September. The Christmas tree is a very important symbol. With it. it reminds us of the birth of Jesus Christ and His resurrection. At some point, I was actually curious to its beginnings. Christmas trees as they came to be now started around the late 1400s and the 1500s. In what's now Germany, it was the Holy Roman Empire then. The paradise tree had more decorations in it, sometimes communion wafers, cherries, and later pastry decorations of stars, bells, angels, and whatsoever. And it even got a new nickname, the Christbaum. Or Christmas tree. Some early Christmas trees across many parts of Northern Europe were cherry or hawthorn plants or a branch of the plant that were put into posts and brought inside so they would hopefully flower at Christmas time. If you couldn't afford a real plant, people made pyramids of woods and they were decorated to look like a tree with paper, apples, and candles. It is possible that wooden pyramid trees were meant to be like paradise trees. Sometimes, they were carried around from house to house rather than being displayed in a home. The first person to bring a Christmas tree into a house, in the way we know it today, may have been the 6th century German preacher Martin Luther. A story is told that, one night before Christmas, he was walking through the forest and looked up to see the star shining through the tree's branches. It was so beautiful that he went home and told his children that it reminded him of Jesus who left the stars of heaven to come to it at Christmas. So he brought a tree into this house and decorated it with candles to represent the stars.
Um, you still happy? Yeah. Now that Christmas is over, now that we have opened our gifts, hugged our families, share food, and drink together, I hope that the spirit of Christmas will always remain in our hearts. It hasn't been an easy advent in which to hold. As a shadow of this current pandemic, this still haunts the world and our lives. And as we face turbulent natural disasters that causes so much grief, anxiety, and despair. It is not unusual for our hearts to feel a sense of gloominess and despair. During these dark days of Advent, we do not live in a world free from pain and struggles. And God doesn't promise us a path free from the realities of loss and grief. So if you're struggling this Christmas, know that you are not alone because God will never leave us. Whatever you're going through right now, my hope is for you and for our future together. I see hope everywhere. I see hope in the eyes of children and I see hope through our faith and my love of God. So just like the sun arises every morning, we can be assured even the longest and darkest night of the year and even in the midst of the time of Christmas season, Emmanuel, God with us, is near. This Christmas, may you find hope and assurance that Jesus Christ, light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. God bless us all, and Happy New Year. <laughs>